to the company. What if we told them, guess what? You want to build something? You got to work your face off. That's the truth. You got to work hard. If you want to build something in this world. You bring that to me as a, a kind of a, an entrepreneurially wired person who's a little bit competitive and say, hey, guess what? You got to work your face off, but there's opportunity here. I'm, I'm in. I'm ready to go. It's going to take some time, people. No, you don't have to invest the average of what an average business is, invests is $100,000 to, to, to create a business. No, I'm sorry, $65,000 in order to be able to start a business, a typical small business here in the United States. $65,000. You don't have to do $65,000, but you have to make up for that lack of investment with commitment and hard work. You can bring sweat equity in and earn your way into a better situation potentially than that person who put the 65,000 in. Here's what I want you to understand. The truth is good enough. What we have right now inside of network marketing is so good. The truth is good enough to be able to say, yeah, you gotta work your face off. Are you in or are you out? The truth is good enough. Here's what our products do and here's what they don't do. The truth is good enough. Here's the real commitment. The truth is good enough. It really is. Now do it in the best way possible, but keep it responsible, you know what I mean? Hey, my name is Eric Worre, and if you're involved in the franchise, and you read the disclaimer, Okay, all right. Do you guys understand the, 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 the foundation, the, lay, the, the layout right now today? Okay, so just, just a couple of things, just a couple of things, and I'll get into this when I, when I, when I get into the training. You know, when, when you talk about, I think the best thing that World Global Network ever did was that income disclosure. Um, I always say it's my favorite slide because I, I like to be very upfront, sometimes to a fault, but I much rather be that way so people understand when I bring somebody into this, Okay, here's what they could be assured of. I will be there and I will always do what I say I'm gonna do. Working rules. Working rules when I bring somebody in. Okay, I make sure they understand based on their commitment what a realistic expectation will be based on what they're willing to give. So yes, okay, it's not easy. Yes, it's, it's very difficult. But really, okay, I like to spin it the other way. What part is really difficult? It is, is, is the program that we have difficult? I know there's now people on this call, fact, from other companies that are not in World Global Network. Maybe they were in World Global Network, now they're doing something else. Listen, I don't care what your vehicle is. Every company has a simple program. Every company has a simple, it's not the program that's difficult. The execution, it goes back to what I trained on yesterday. The execution is you willing to grow beyond your boundaries to execute the program. Which means what? Talking to people. Oh my gosh, I gotta talk to people? Yes, that's, that's the skill set you got to perfect. I don't care what the product is. Makes no difference. Kilo, supplement, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I've done most of them. Okay, that never, what the, the name, the number one thing was my ability to communicate honestly where the people were buying into what I was saying. It's called belief. And if you're taking the journey, whatever, whatever you're doing, okay, the belief needs to come through. And it's not about over-promising, and that's where most people make a mistake. Let me tell you, I was watching a video this weekend from somebody. We have this, we have that, double-blind studies, we have patents. You're talking about the wrong thing. I'm just telling you. The Hilo does this, the Hilo does that, the Hilo does this compared to the Fitbit, wrong thing. In my opinion, wrong thing. That could be the door opener, 
Okay, but you got to understand, I don't care what you're marketing. Do you think you're the only one? You get people say, well, is there competition? Let me ask you about competition. Do you think there's anything out there that doesn't have competition? And if you get into the conversation of my products better than yours, I'm telling you, you're dead in the water. Yeah, you may question what I just said, but maybe four years from now, you'll say, you know what? Jeff was right. If you're still in the game, if you're still in the game. So my point is this, you have to have proper expectations. Okay. When you go out there, okay. Reality check. Okay. And I know some of you have seen it, but I'm going to spin it differently. Okay. And I always say, when you see my trainings over and over again, you're, if you're, if you're growing, you're at a different spot. Okay, and I'm, and I'm gonna say it again, okay? It makes no difference what company you're with. That's why I love Eric Worre, okay? That's why I love, you know, what, uh, what he does. You got, you know how many companies rep are represented at GoPro, 500? 500 different companies. But you know what? The message from the stage, everybody understands. It makes no difference. Here's the difference. Are you willing to take the journey no matter what you're doing? That's the difference. And I want you guys to do it. I want you to take the journey. Okay? And, and when you find it, you're going to know, you know what? When Jeff keeps talking about, and for the 15th time, it's not about the widget, you'll start to understand what I'm talking about. Okay? Reality check for financial expectations. Here's the bottom line. Here's what we're paid for. This is what we're paid for. You're paid for, people are buying into. Okay, do I believe in Livy's vision? That's what I'm evaluating. I'm evaluating, does she even believe what's coming out of her mouth? That's what I wanna know. And I don't, don't think people aren't evaluating you. And if all you're talking about is your product, and well, that's, that's can't. Your vision comes from what? Your experience. Your prior experience. Let me tell you why I now have vision. Because my vision was blinded for X amount of years working for somebody else. I didn't have any vision. When I got involved in this opportunity, I put the rose colored glasses on and I start to see things differently. Now tell them what you see. Tell them what you see. They don't have the glasses. Do you guys get this? You gotta say, listen, let me show you. They're gonna go, oh my God. You know those new 3D glasses? People say, oh, this is unbelievable. Okay, that's what you gotta show people. You got to show people those glasses. That's your vision. Now take the glasses out. You got to speak this. You got to relate. You got to relate to where you are and where they are. You got to bring people from where they are to see what you see. I don't care what they see. See, I'll listen and I'm going to show empathy from where they are, but I'm not interested in where they're going. I just got to tell you, they need to know I'm the opportunity. They're not my opportunity. See, a lot of people work multi-level marketing the wrong way. That the person you're talking to is your opportunity. No. Do you understand you're their opportunity? Do you know what one decision can mean? So who's opera, who, who's, who's, who, who's, <laughs> who's, who's opportunity? I'm Libby's opportunity. She's not mine. I have the opportunity. I got the rose colored glasses. She doesn't. She's going through the motions. I know what her day looks like and I don't want any part of it. I don't want to be told when to go to the bathroom. I don't want to be told when, 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 when to go on vacation, when I could eat. I know her. I know what her movie is. She doesn't know mine. See, that's the vision. That's the vision. And that takes courage. It takes courage to share your vision. It takes a belief. And we think as the widget changes, 
the courage gets okay, better. The courage is the courage. Now, watch. Does the product have to work? Of course. If your product doesn't work, does that limit your belief? Sometimes. Unless you're seasoned. Unless you're seasoned. I get that part. Okay, but I want you to understand it's the courage of holding yourself accountable to your calendar. And then that takes stamina. This is not, this will buckle the mightiest of men. The stamina to keep doing it, especially with no results. Is that amazing? But see, here's the deal, guys. If you look at anything, every day you're getting better. This is why I say you've got to find your little successes every day because that keeps you moving forward. If you don't find little, little successes, it's going to be very difficult to do this business. Okay, you've got to find your little successes. Now, when you do that, okay, okay, uh-oh, here it is again. <laughs> hey, whatever company you're with, you can take this with you, okay? Here's my gift to you, okay? Now, here's the deal. Because when I say share your vision, here's the rose-colored glasses. This is what you got to get people to know. There's another way. There's another way to own your own business. I'm not going to go through it, okay? I'm not going to train on it. There is another way to add another source. Remember what Eric Worre said, proper expectations? Well, you got to understand what's going to be coming into your business. Most people start a network marketing business spare time, part time. They can't quit their day job. They can't. They cannot quit their day job. So most people are going to enter into your opportunity to make some extra income. Earning extra income builds belief. You got to make sure you're doing whatever you say you're gonna do to help that person. But remember, you can't make people successful. That's another thing we say. Just get involved, we'll make you six. No, you won't. They gotta come 50% of the way and you gotta come 50% of the way if you wanna make people successful. That's who I'm going to work with. I'm going to work with the person that's coming and meeting me halfway. And I'm going to always come the other way. And with that, I know I could get them a result. I don't care what the result is. Car payment, mortgage payment, child's tuition. I know the more results I get them, right, the, then I know, okay, the bigger their belief. See, this is the rose-colored glasses. The advance, you, you, when do, how many times do you think people go to work every day thinking, I'm going to get that, that promotion? People start to settle after a certain part, point in their life, in their career. The rose-colored glasses is showing people residual income, and the rose-colored glasses is showing the support system that you or your company has. We have a great support system here at World Global Network. This is a support, what you're on right now is a support system. Keep going, everybody. Keep taking the journey. I believe in you. That's the support system. That's the coaching. What's that worth? Do you think this exists out there in corporate America? No, what's the support system there? You're lucky you're still here. You're lucky you're hired. You're lucky because I could replace you with somebody, right, for half the pay. That's what's being told. So understand, this is, this is the rose-colored glasses, okay? So you know that your financial expectations are in need if you thought you could create wealth without hard work. This is easy. No, it's easy. The system's easy. The system's easy. Right? <laughs> Here comes the gym analogies again, right? Go to the gym. It's easy to work the machine. It's easy to get on the bike and pedal. Okay, but now pedal level 25 for 30 minutes. Not easy. The mechanics of the bike is easy. 
Okay, same thing here. You thought you could work, work part-time and earn full-time income. You thought your top earners in network marketing got here and became wealthy because of luck, good timing or hard work. That's a problem. So they were positioned right. No, they did it because they have experience. A lot of people think that if they experience disappointment, it's a sign they should quit. What? It's all about, see, this is what people don't understand in business. The disappointments is a positive result. It's not a negative. It's the exact opposite. When I hear a no, I'm either learning, right? I'm growing or I'm learning if I hear a no. That's how I think about it. When someone tells me that I'm crazy, I know I'm doing the right thing. That sounds crazy, right? Wait a minute. People are telling me this is not gonna work. This is telling me this is a scam. I know now I'm doing the right thing. Because I know most people, if they knew what I knew, would get involved in my business. That's, it's a switch. All people know, guys, is what they know. And you gotta be very, very, very um, razor sharp to tell them what they need to know. That's all people know. You thought simple was the same as easy. I gave you that analogy. You thought you'd, there'd be no learning curve. Really? Learning curve? Here's my thing. Do it. That's your learning curve. You expect every person that you bring in, right, the two people that you brought in for the year, you expect them to be a self-starter. Well, one left, one right. I did my two for the year. Oh, really? You, because you think, oh, just because they made a decision, they're gonna build. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Have you? Someone sponsored you. Are you a superstar for your, for your upline? But then you would expect everybody else to be the superstar. Do you see where it gets crazy? No, has nothing to do. And here's the thing, I'm committing to this craft. And whether it takes me one year, three years or five years, if I believe in the vehicle, then I'm going to take the journey. And if you do that, then you're committing to do it until you do it. That's the key to success. How about you thought you could do this a business alone and not plug people into your system? Some people need to hear this one, right? You're the Lone Ranger. Nobody understands there's different trainings out there. Okay, you gotta plug them in, you gotta release. Well, what if people decide to quit? So, bye, wish them well. Wish them well. How many people have left world? Lots. And will people continue to leave world? Yes. So what? Wish them well. You don't own anybody. It'll always come back to you. So under, understand, but just and then you guys let them know wherever they go, there they are. In other words, you may be looking for the answer with a different company. The answer is within you. Now, if you believe that next opportunity is something that is gonna get, then go. No one's holding anybody back here. This is a, this is a, free, a, a, a free enterprise. Go do what you need to do. But I wanna make sure you understand, okay, that you have to eventually make this decision that you're gonna do it until you do it. I had somebody call me yesterday and said, Jeff, I just wanna let you know, okay, that I'm on Diamond Zone and I, 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 I'm going to a different company. You know what I said? Congratulations, you're gonna do really well there. Follow their system, work it. Can I still come on Diamond Zone? I don't care. 
If you, if you see value, great. There's no animosity. We all think we have to hate everybody. If they don't continue the journey, what? Are you kidding me? I have an opportunity here. That's like saying, you know what? Okay, I decided to take a better offer from the Lakers. They're going to pay me double, and now I don't want anything to do with you, but we're still in the NBA. Come on, guys. What are we, babies? Understand this business. You're going to have to leave your comfort zone. You're going to have to leave your comfort zone. You want the rose-colored glasses? You want everything I'm painting? You're going to have to leave your comfort zone. That's the challenge. That's the challenge. Remember, all people know is what they know. Now they put the rose-colored glasses on, and I, this is why I always tell all of you, who doesn't want something on that globe? Okay, but I'm going to have to leave my comfort zone to get it. Who doesn't want to be, if someone's overweight, how many overweight people want to stay overweight, but they don't want to leave their comfort zone to do the necessary things in order to be someone who's in better shape? That's the comfort zone. That's the key. That's the business. It's leaving the comfort zone. It's getting uncomfortable. You thought your personal recruits were for someone else to do. Guys, let me just tell you, if you don't have, okay, if you don't have 100 uh, recruits personally, you're not going to build a foundation. I don't care what compensation plan you have. You know, that's the other thing. Let me get on my stump on this one. I'm going to evaluate compensation plans. I don't like the binary. I like the unilevel. I hate the unilevel. It has to be a binary. What? As soon as I hear that, you know what I say? Rookie. Sorry. You're evaluating. They all pay the same. It's just how they give it to you. They all pay the same. A dollar's a dollar. When you have multiple levels of people that are attached to the dollar, it only goes so far. Do they pay it up front? Do they make you jump through hoops for it? Doesn't make a difference if I'm, I don't, I've never looked at comp plans. I've never looked at comp plans. I don't, from, from, the, from the time I started working, I've never, I just know if I did what they were asking me to do with a passion and belief, the money will be there. It's always been my, my logic. So don't get in, that, that's just stuff. That's just stuff. So, Personal recruits, 100 to build the foundation. And if I'm putting those 100 people in a unilevel or in a binary, it makes no difference. You guys follow me? And we could go back and forth on which one's, that doesn't matter. You know which one's better? The one you're working. That's the one that's better. The one you're working. But if you're not working either one, then we start, to, we start to dissect, well, why is it, right? It, all the stuff that comes up. You thought your upline sponsor should build your business. Well, that's based on how you were brought in, right? If I'm bringing, if I'm bringing, let me see someone who's paying attention, okay? If I'm bringing Larry into the business, right? And, and Larry's sitting down with me and I'm telling Larry, hey, Larry, don't worry, man. I got 25 years in this game. I got you, brother. Don't worry. I'm going to put everybody I bring in underneath you. Right? You just need to sit, just, just be there. Okay? Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to make sure I take care of you. Now, now, Larry now has a right to hold me accountable to do what I said. Right? I brought him in wrong. But if I said to Larry, if I said to Larry, Larry, listen, this is a business. Here, here's the rose-colored glasses, Larry. What do you want here? I want that immediate income, Jeff. Perfect. And I've been working what I've been doing for 20 years. I need that residual income. Great. Larry, what are you willing to do? I know you're working full-time, Larry. Okay, what's your commitment over here? 
Well, Jeff, I'll tell you what. I'm off at five o'clock and I'm committed to this. I could give you five to nine o'clock Monday through Friday and I can give you all day Saturday. Whatever he says. Perfect. Now, Larry, what we're about to do together is not going to be easy. But I'm going to come 50% of the way. And Larry, if you do what you say you're going to do together, I believe we could build a business together. Now, you see the difference in how I brought Larry in? But if someone starts to think and have the mentality, what's going on, no one's dropping anybody down, they were brought in wrong. Responsibility is on the person who sponsored the person. Because you are so excited to bring somebody in, you'll tell them whatever they want to hear. Well, you just created an invalid. And now, Larry, now Larry's my boss. I, I just turned an opportunity where I was his opportunity, now he's mine. Jeff, I've been watching. Haven't you been doing anything? Nothing's being dropped down. You guys understand? That's what I'm talking about there, okay? Now, here's what we have to do. Okay, our business is to fill our frontline people. So the mentality is, right, when I came over to World, my mentality was to build, now listen everybody, my board of directors. My board of directors included 40 circles. We brought in 40 people right away. Those are my frontline people. Even though they were down in the binary, I was the personal sponsor. I was building a company within a company. So if I go to, a, if I go to whatever company we've gone to, I said, okay, who is gonna be my board of directors? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put names to these circles. This is how I got organized in the beginning. Based on what I knew about the person, if they were entrepreneurial, and I gave them the first right of refusal to join my new endeavor. And my job was to build and help them, right, support them to build their board of directors. See theirs? and then help those people build their board of directors. See, in network marketing, and I'll get to this, that you go wide to find the people that go deep. And most people never go as wide as two to four people. Well, who has a better opportunity to find somebody that's gonna build depth if you go 100 wide or two? See, but we're a brain, we're, we, we, have a, we, we have a miss here because every presentation you all see is just get one left, one right. And we think because we did it, we're done. Well, see, I've never taught that because I came from a unilevel plan. A unilevel plan says every time you sponsor somebody, that's your front line. And you go as wide as you want. Now, you could go as wide as you want at World. Of course, that's the message. But in a binary, you only need two. You see the different the messages? And we think, well, I got my two. Oh, let me ask you. What if those two are the wrong ones? You better get another two. Out of 40, out of 100, and, out of 100, I don't know where we're at now, 127 personal sponsors. I got now six working legs. Out of 127, I have six, in other words, six people that are really working it. How's that for some truth? Okay, what is that? Less than 10%. 10% would be what, 12? <laughs> I got 5%. 5% now. Did it pay well? It sure did. But see, just get your two. No, you got to find the people that want to go to work. That never stops. And as you're doing it, you're in these stages of network marketing. You want the stages? Here's the stage you're all in. Every single one of you are in the stage. It's not worth it. I'm working hard, Jeff. It's just not worth it okay wrong expectations unrealistic i want everybody to get to it's worth it 
Once you taste it's worth it, you can never do anything else again. Once you taste it's worth it. And then obviously there's people in this industry that are like, it's not, I'm not worth this much. We've tasted this. But the stages are what you gotta be asking yourself, are you willing to do? And I like to show the penny a day theory. Good analogy in network marketing. You guys seen this? Okay, I'll give you a penny a day for 30 days doubled or a million dollars cash right now. What would you take? Give me the million dollars. No, no, penny a day. I'll show you what that means. Doubled every day for 30, for 30 days. But here's what you gotta know about the journey you're all on. In network marketing, a day can equal weeks or months. So first month, you made a dollar. Let's forget a, forget a penny. Is it worth it? After a month, this is not worth it. After two months, I made $2. Most people don't hang on. 30, 60, 90, 120 days is the average lifespan of a network marketer. 120 days. Why? They were brought in wrong with the unrealistic expectations. They, they plugged into no training, so they, under, they, they didn't understand the rejection they were getting was normal. But see, if they understand it, they got to know that the key to getting to stage two is vision, is association with a positive environment. Why have most of you stayed in? Why do I do this every morning? I know the power of an association with a positive system. I got you. I understand where a lot of you are. I know if you took the journey yesterday, you got rejected. And I'm here to tell you, don't worry about that rejection, keep going. That's the system. Stay plugged in. Now look at 19 months in, 2,600 bucks. You know what you're thinking? This is not worth it. But you keep going, you keep going, you keep persevering, you get it, right? And then you get to stage two. Now watch this, month 20, 5,200. Month 21, 10,000, this is how it happens. Look at month 24, 83,000 in a month. Remember I said a penny a day doubled? Look at $10 million, day 31. You guys understand the concept? The concept, of course. But people in stage two and three are paid to be willing to do what others won't. Every day for 25 years, we've stared down fear. We have ignored, ignored fatigue, fighting loneliness, pushing through discouragement, and walking by faith. Show me any entrepreneur that hasn't done this. Two choices, safe or the possibilities. What do you think most people choose? Well, they think the job is safe. Is there, are jobs safe right now? Come on, really? I was talking to my mom yesterday and she said, you know what? You know, she was talking about one of the grandkids. She says, you know, what they're doing doesn't give them any security. I go, mom, what did you just say? She says, it doesn't give them any, I go, security has gone out the window 20 years ago. In other words, the day of working for the same company for 20, 30, 40 years and retiring with the gold watch and the pension are no longer security. But see, my mom, obviously, she's uh, 76. 76. So that's all she knows. Okay, but my dad retired from, as a machinist, 40 years in a machine shop with $1,300 a month Social Security. I go, Mom, was that secure? Are you secure? Who gives you money every month? Well, did that work, the 40 years in the machine shop? See, I'd rather stare down fear with the possibilities of painting my vision than to work for somebody else's dreams. 
That's multi-level. That's multi-level market. That's entrepreneurship. So you guys get the, 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 the concept. Now watch. Persi the, the principles for success. How am I doing here? I'm doing good. Okay. Consistent effort. Remember how I brought Larry in? Larry, we're going to put together your plan. Your job is the consistent effort of executing the plan. Because that's the only way we're going to get duplication. And when we bring people in, Larry, as I brought you in, we want realistic expectations. Success in network marketing, and this is so true. This is why I love this. It's not about talent. It's tenacity. I'll take somebody with tenacity over talent any day. Just that drive, the I don't care, the I don't give a you know what. They're just going to do it. They do it to do it. And no matter what, they just don't quit. And that's the principles for success. But understand this part of it. When you look at how to build, and I touched on it and alluded to it a little bit, wealth comes from depth. Depth in network marketing is when you teach five how to get five how to get five. Right? You ever do the geometric, geometric progression? You've probably seen it a thousand times. Teach five people how to get five people, that's 25. Teach 25 how to get five, that's 125. Take that down six levels. It's 20,000 people. 20,000 people, that's duplication. Duplication comes from having a system, right? But the person leading the duplication has to be committed. It's not accidental. This is a plan. I got to bring in, watch. I touched on it already. How many people do I have to bring in front line? Right, this is what I'm doing. This is what you need to do every day. You're giving everybody an opportunity. And you're trying to identify the one that takes it this way. That's the one that goes, got it. Now, here's the good news. I don't need a lot of these guys. I don't need a lot of them. Five to 10 of them, you're good. But would you sponsor 500 people? Let's just use that number to get five good ones. This is where people get discouraged. Man, I brought so many people in. They're just not doing it. Wrong people. Go get more. If that was the plan. And the bottom line is the one that shows the most presentations wins. It's the bottom line. We, what do we say? The one that shows the most videos wins. It's constant. It's constant. I was talking to somebody yesterday. I won't tell you who. And the person was saying, you know, I'm just, I'm discouraged. I've been doing this a long time, Jeff, in the industry. And I said, so-and-so, let me help you here. You haven't worked in 25 years. You have, do you understand you haven't worked in 25 years? And I just started regurgitating the success that person's had in 25 years. You know how many times you've been around the world? You know how many beautiful cars you've driven, homes you have lived in? Your kids are in, 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 in private universities? And you've yet to, you haven't had a job in 20, he goes, you know what, you make a good point. Yes. Are you kidding? Multi-level is not perfect. I love what Eric Worre says. It's just better. It's just better. My worst day here is better than my best day in corporate America. We all know the problems in any company you will go to. Don't think by going to a different company, you're not going to have problems because you're going to that company. <laughs> I just made a funny. <laughs> ah, I just crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Don't think you're not going to have problems because you're going to that company. You're the problem. 
<laughs> Be the solution. Look in the mirror. No, seriously. I am kind of serious about that. But every, every company has its issues, guys. Gosh, who knows? Okay, it's just different. You got to roll with the punches. Did companies you ever worked for have problems? Did you ever not complain about your boss? Come on. It's time at some point to put your big boy pants on and understand everything in life has challenges. And I much rather have challenges where I'm in control versus never in control. Associate with like-minded, positive people. Keys to success. And when you do this, right, and you start to understand, this is the realistic expectation part. You're fishing from the same, and we're all fishing from the same pool, right? These are the people you got to show your rose-colored glasses to. And most of the people you're going to be interacting with, now I'm saying most, are going to live on the left side of the quadrant. The employees. And you got to show them a different side of the rose-colored glasses because they are hardworking, there's no security, there's no time. So are the self-employed. But when you start to talk to people on the other side of the quadrant, there's other aspects to the business that are going to be more appealing to them. In, in most cases, it's just another source of income. They could use their credibility to help build their network. Follow me? So this is, this is who we're talking to. So when you know who you're talking to, and you know what you're offering. Remember, what you're offering. I'm just gonna close with this. What you're offering, everybody, is yes, whatever the product is, is the widget, great. But no matter what, I've used this globe, no matter what product, supplements, coffee, services, I always have this. Always, because that's what separates my product. You see, it's not my ingredient, it's not my patent. It's not my, my, my the way it was um, 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 farmed. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not that Toshiba makes the nano digit or whatever the hell it is. What separates my product is the opportunity that's attached to it. That's it. I got rose-colored glasses on my product. The Fitbit doesn't have rose-colored glasses. The supplement doesn't have rose-colored glasses that, I buy, at, that buy, I buy at Costco. But mine does. Mine has an opportunity which enhances my product, right? Oh, but wait a minute. Let me show you my white papers. Let me show you my supplements are in the PDR. That was, I, I used to sell that. The physician's desk, my products are in the PDR. And then guess what the next question was? What's the PDR? Now I got to explain the PDR. Then they start looking up the product in the PDR. And they start looking at ingredients. Now I'm selling ingredients. Are you kidding me? It was never, but you know what? If I sold the opportunity, the PDR, they didn't give it, you know what? You mean I could, I could own my own business with this product? I can make money with this product? There's residual income in this product? There's training with this product? If I buy a supplement from Costco, is there training? Is there a diamond zone every morning? Where's their diamond zone schedule? Right, I just bought this. I, I just bought this. I <laughs> I just bought this uh, multivitamin, and I don't see their Diamond Zone schedule. Is it on here somewhere? Oh, here it is. Oh no, no, that's just the number to call if I if I have a uh, um, uh, a side effect. Do you guys get this? That's the industry you're in. Now go out, right and 
Work the program. Work the program. It works. Okay, and follow the system. That's it. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. You're not crying, Libby, are you? I want to see tears. Cry. Come on. Cry. <laughs> Bye, guys.